Just kidding, I don't have a microphone. Oh, that's how you sync up the microphone in the oh in the video. So you, that you make an, an audio spike. Now they all know too. <laughs> yeah, and now you all know if I keep this in. You like my look? I just came back from a photo shoot for this thing and I decided to use the makeup because your girl doesn't just do makeup like this every day. <laughs> so, I did not vlog much of Katsu. And you're probably like, this is the Katsu vlog. This is not how this normally works. And you're right. Normally when I don't vlog very much, I just throw it out. I'm like, whatever, it was a happy memory. It's fine. But the last time we were at KatsuCon, we weren't necessarily singing its praises. I don't know how much of that actually came into videos, but we did not have such a great time our last two times at Katsu, and we were happy to just leave it behind. But situations came together this year, we went, and we had an amazing time. It was very surprising. I couldn't believe it, and I think I'm gonna make this a little bit lower. So instead of just throwing everything away, I'm going to try this. For you guys. It's a little bit different than what I normally do, but I'm going to try to tell you the story here and then intersperse my pathetic attempts at vlogging so that you don't just have to look at my face the whole time. And also, Coel Luis is right there, so if you hear, Hi. If you hear <laughs> in voice, it's her. It's her and she can help me tell the story because she can help me tell the story. And me. And here. Thursday is technically when we headed down to the con, though I did not go to the convention on Thursday. I went down with my lovely friend Octo Star Creations, who was in the Artist Alley this year. She's a lovely, talented artist. You should check out her stuff. But we drove down together and got in pretty late, but I was staying with Harv Cosplay and her husband and her adorable cat in their very aesthetic apartment that I will not show you because privacy and all that, but it was lovely to spend time with them and see them again. and. Friends are always a good reason to travel, even for a con that you think is going to be disappointing. We got in super late on Thursday, but headed off to the con Friday morning as Fenris and Lucina. Yeah, we did. I forgot what we were. I know. I had to make, if you see me look over here, I had to make a script because it is June when I am filming this video. Katsu was in February, it's so. Not even, it's not even June. It's late June. Yeah. It's like yeah. really ripe June. Guys, I, I've been trying. I've been trying. I'm trying to get back on a regular schedule. Headed to the con in Fenris and Lucina. Amazing. Awesome. We love these costumes. They looked great in this location. It was so choice. We got in, got our badges. Yeah, we waited in line for our badges. Yes. And the line was super, super long and I wasn't sure if they were going to take cash or card. Mm -hmm. So I ordered our badges in line. So when we got yes. to the front, I just picked them up. I don't think that typically happens for cons, mm -hmm. that you can continue to pre-reg for the con all the way up through the con, but it saved us so much time in that line, yeah. buying our badges in line, because then we got moved over to the pre-reg line. Because the line was outside. It we was were, outside. We were outside. In February. And now in years past, Reg has been kind of miserable for Katsu. The lines are pretty bad. But I think this year was the fastest that we've ever gone through. through. I would agree. We were probably in line for, I don't know, like 45 minutes? Yeah. Or so. At most. And in past years it had been like maybe two hours. It was, it was a lot. So this year, much better. I don't know if it was just the timing or what, but especially being in cosplay in line, which is miserable to begin with. But after that, we went and met up with Avid Exposure. Here's his stuff. He reached out to me to do some shoots. He shot with me throughout the weekend. He was really lovely to work with. I like his aesthetic a lot. We went down to the harbor area since the weather was so beautiful on Friday. Like the sun was shining. It was very comfortable, mild temperatures. Windy. We came back to Katsukon. Did you guys know that? Uh, windy. We went down to the harbor area near where the Peep store is. I had never been in that area before and that's where the man is like, coming out of the sand. I always thought that that was a location that people drove to. I didn't realize that it was right there in National Harbor, but it was really cute. I made friends with some ducks. We met two other amazing cosplayers that he was also shooting with, Silver and Phil McCaw, and they are so sweet and awesome. They were cosplaying books, which 
is now like my new passion, as you will see soon. It's my whole lineup, basically, for all my future cosplays are from books. It's less windy now, so I'm gonna vlog for Kate a little bit. We are on like the sort of bay part of National Harbor, and this is beautiful. I don't think we've ever been down here. No, at least that I haven't. I don't think Kate has. But she's in Fem, Fem, Fenris. <laughs> Femoris, yes, and um, she's getting a shoot done. We met up with these two, who we are um, now friends with. <laughs> oh, give them a hand, give them a hand. Round of applause, everybody. I'm here! <laughs> so pretty, you guys. There's the Ferris wheel, and there's the Kate, and there's all the city. Like, this place is gorgeous. And it's so nice outside, it's like 50 something degrees. It's lovely, and they were both lovely and sweet. And it was so nice to meet them and start off Kansu with a positive interaction with another lovely cosplayer. <laughs> After this shoot, we headed back towards the Gaylord and explored some locations that we had never really seen before. There was this whole garden, they had done a new building since we had last been in Katsu outside in, of the like whole atrium area. There was people everywhere on the shoreline. It was all really beautiful. I don't know if it's like new construction since we'd been there or just stuff that we had never noticed before because we always went when it was freezing cold and miserable but all of it was really beautiful got some really awesome shots there and then all too soon it was time to change because we decided to do two costumes on friday because we have no chill <laughs> a terrible idea and that is where i took my first vlog of the con which just shows how busy we were this whole con. It has been a whirlwind of a day, Friday of Katsu. Honestly, Darcy and I thought that we'd never return to this con, but we'll get into that a little bit later, <laughs> I think. But right now we're kind of just been rushing from thing to thing. We've been taking photos. We got in a little later than we probably wanted to. And uh, Reg took a while. I think it was more efficient than we've dealt with in the past. It's been three years since we've been here, but we did that, ran to a shoot, did some more shoots, just a lot of photos. But everyone here is amazing and so talented and I love looking at all of them, but I think we actually need to go change into our next costume. So this is all you're really gonna see of these. How are you feeling? So tired, so, so tired. I feel great. Oh, there's some, oh, there's some good God. content, yes. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Yes. By this point too, we were having so much fun in our cosplays that we really didn't want to change, but we did it anyway, because we were excited for other ones too. And so we headed back to our lovely friend's house to change into our Taz cosplays, and the evening fell a little bit apart. A little? <laughs> So, do you want the tea? Tell us the tea. Because here's the tea. We came in, it's Friday night. We got in to the National Harbor at like 7.30, 7.20. Um, all the parking garages are not accepting Katsu attendees, even if they have openings. They saw that we were dressed up and they were like, you can't park here, you have to go to a park and ride and take a bus in. Absolutely not. We're like, no, we're not, we're not, no. So we kept circling. We got to the Gaylord's parking, which was open for Katsu attendees, but no matter how long you were staying, you had to pay $23 up front, even though we were only planning on being here like two or three hours. Yeah. So then we get there, we're in the very back of the lot, and then I was trying to be efficient. It's like, I have big pockets for Kravitz. This is fine, I'll just put my wallet, my vlogging camera, my phone, I just like had everything that I, I thought I needed. But this year, they've made a change where you need a badge to do anything in the Gaylord, which I appreciate. I think it cuts down on the ghosting and the crowds. I feel like it's made a difference in a way. Yeah, but agree. it means I can't even get into the building without the badge that's attached to my Eda bag. That you don't have. That is not with me, because I was trying to be efficient. It's a good night. It's a lovely night for an evening. So now it's after eight. 
but Sarah is an angel sent from heaven and she is con crunching at her apartment and I told her the situation how we prepaid we can't really go in and out yeah. we're just stuck here and she just said okay I'll leave in five minutes and I don't deserve her <laughs> there's nothing I can do to repay her so take lots of photos of her tomorrow I'll feel a lot better once I'm in there but I just feel like a lot of things weren't really coming together tonight and it's just Your been Kravitz a lot. makeup looks amazing if that Thank helps you. at all. Thank you. I transformed my Fenris into Kravitz, so it's a little different. Which I'm like super impressed because I couldn't do the same thing. So But I'm into it. You should see. Darcy has it's very dark out here. We'll show you something better inside, but she's updated her Lulu. She has a cute jacket now that I'll show you better once we're inside. It has a hood. So we can be hoodlums together. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. I, it's super nice outside today. It looks like a really clear, almost spring-like day. It's really yes. nice. Especially after the polar vortex that us northern states have been getting. Because I've, I've heard a few people say, oh, it's so cold outside. I'm like, are you kidding? My house is literally ice. <laughs> I haven't been able to drive down my street for the past like two weeks because it's just a solid sheet of ice. So this is great. If all comms could be this, like even in the summer, I would not be mad. I'd be so thrilled. The only reason I could transfer my makeup is because I didn't sweat. Yes. It was exactly. delightful. I didn't sweat and I wasn't like frigid and miserable. So there's a silver lining. It's just a lot of things haven't been working out so great. Yeah. There's probably a panic at the disco song about something like this. <laughs> Sarah came to the rescue, did a drive by threw the badge out the window. No, she didn't do that. She just gave it to me nicely and it's very sweet. I don't I don't deserve you, Sarah. Thank you. Hopefully I'll never forget my badge ever again because that was awful. <laughs> it was a learning experience. Yes. Yes, it was. Even though we got in super late, we still ended up having a really lovely time taking photos of each other. We got a little experimental since all the light by this point was gone and Darcy just happened to have her little handheld ring light perfect for selfies, but now also perfect for taking some dramatic, dramatic photos. We found this ominous corner and we have a ring light and Morgan has stepped in to be our wonderful helper and we got some very drama shots with my son as a backdrop. We had a lot of fun doing that. It was something that we had never really done before, but bizarrely productive. Yes. Very much so. And it's something that I definitely want to try out more at future conventions. After that, we went back to our abode. We stayed up way too hecking late. You'll find that's a theme here. Yes. <laughs> All this entire con, we stayed up too late, which is just how it goes when you are with a large group of people, especially people that are con crunching their costumes for the next day. Oh my God. Which a little bit of that happened. <laughs> then got up for Saturday chill time getting together our costumes all together in their apartment helping each other with body paint doing it for the first time it was really, all this crazy stuff it was a bonding experience it really was it really was so we had koa luis's jester i was in yasha sarah was also in jester also in jester her husband was ford and their friend eric was caleb Caleb. And we just had a lovely little group with some duplicity with Jester and headed off to the convention, got there just in time for the big critical role photo shoot. Hi, good morning. We are finally in critical role. We have a nice little group going and we are at the critical role shoot. It is a lot. It's overwhelming. I don't think I'm going to go up, but look at how many. No. An official meetup yesterday. That's true. This is, this is awesome. There are so many people, you guys. There are so many Look, people. Like, I don't even know. There's so, so many. There's so many. There's probably like at least ten. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think that is uh, a safe bet. Yeah, I'm really good at math. <laughs> I'm like an expert at math. I'm like really, really good. Ask me a math question. I don't know any math questions. Do you want me to teach you math? Here, I'll show you. Stick out your hand. Two plus two equals you and me. Oh, wow. <laughs> that would be five bucks. It was oh, a good yeah. joke. Oh. When we got to the photo shoot, 
the social anxiety was real. There were so many people, probably more than I dealt with since walking past Homestuck photo shoots back in the day. Like, there were just probably hundreds of people all in this one space. It was very overwhelming. Everyone looked so pretty. It was so intimidating. And I almost thought, like, maybe we should just go, maybe we should just stay in the back, not deal with this. And then this random Ford cosplayer, bless his heart, saw that I was cold, and he just pulled out, like, four yards of fur and just, like, wrapped me in it. And then, like, ten minutes later, there were, like, four yashas and three bows, and we were just, like, all this, like, sushi of warmth, and it was amazing. <laughs> I wasn't... That wasn't even the only length of fur that he had. Yes, he, he had, had like, like garbage bags, like just with so much fur, just ready to like help people out in this cold February winter. The only photo I went up for was the group photo because the whole sushi fur just went to the sh the group shoot together, and it was it was amazing. It was lovely. I gave out so many buttons, and everyone at the meet had gifts. It was crazy. I got like traveler pamphlets, pamphlets to go to the circus, people were giving out dice and homemade cookies. It was incredible. I couldn't believe it. I had a lot of dice. <laughs> yes, yes. And people had like prints and I I was so happy I had my buttons. I felt like I could be a part of it and be part of this just like incredibly creative and supportive fandom and I'm so glad that we went to the group shoot. It was it was really amazing. <laughs> so after the shoot, we were all starving. I needed caffeine, so made Some quick... of us starving a little more than others. <laughs> oh yes, Coelouise got a little hangry. It was incredible. I'd never seen her like that before. <laughs> I've never been that like upset, <laughs> hungry in my life. It's like, ooh, I don't know her. Who is what she? What is this side of you? I don't know her. <laughs> so we headed over to the Starbucks because the sun was shining, it was gorgeous. We got some sustenance and some lovely strawberry refreshers with light ice. You know. Everybody in the world knows your Starbucks <laughs> order. <laughs> they do now! <laughs> to get some much needed snackage and have a little sit. Mm -hmm. Which fixed everything. Yes. And revitalized us to take photos of everyone in our own little personal group got lots of really cute pics of everyone together, got some cute coupley photos of Sarah and her husband being Ford and Jester. I think those are my favorite, probably. It's so bizarre how much chemistry a couple has. When they're actually when they're a actually couple. actually a couple. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's amazing. I aspire to look like that in any of my ship photos. And that is the end of my script, so now I just have to remember. <laughs> what did we do after that? 